Welcome to this month's Minute with Victor, where Dr. Cotton answers your questions. I received a question from a physician who writes, I understand the legal importance of practicing evidence-based medicine, that there are some situations where there isn't any evidence. For example, some patients have complex multi-system problems, there are a lot of unknowns, and I'm forced to make decisions based solely on my clinical judgment. It usually works out, but if something goes wrong, I feel like I don't have a leg to stand on. How can I prove that I made the right choice when I don't have any literature to support me? Well, if you don't have any literature, I'm not sure that you can prove it, but I am sure that you don't have to. We need to remember that our legal system operates on the principle of innocent until proven guilty. And in a malpractice case, we refer to it as being not liable until proven liable. But however you say it, it means that you don't have to prove that you didn't commit malpractice. The person suing you has to prove that you did. The second thing that helps us here is to remember that medical malpractice isn't defined by whether you were right or wrong. It certainly helps if you were right, but frankly, that's not the issue. The issue, the question, is whether you were reasonable. Was what you did reasonable under the circumstances? If it was, then you didn't commit malpractice. Now, your question is, how can you prove that you made the right choice when there isn't any literature? Well, it's not about whether you were right, and you don't have to prove anything. The person suing you has to prove that what you did, the choice that you made, wasn't reasonable, that no reasonable physician would have done it. And in the scenarios that you described, that's going to be difficult because if it's a complex situation and there isn't much literature, then any number of choices might be reasonable. All you have to do is pick one of them. I appreciate you listening and I welcome your questions. I don't have all the answers, but I do know that the solution to most medical legal dilemmas starts with taking care of the patient. Because if you do that, the law will usually take care of itself.